Well, I'm just fine, thanks, Byron. I've got my winter coat on at this stage, which is the winter coat that Amanda supplies via her good cooking. So I'm okay at this stage, and I would love to see the synchronized swimming photo. But since we're talking about photos and we are on the subject of Byron, I suppose we should try and find Byron's photo. So I'm just going to quickly see if I can't find it here quickly because he did send us one and it was a very funny photo of him. There we go. So this was when he was in his training days as the mud wrestling champion. He he often used to go out and try and get as much practice as possible when when you're training for mud wrestling you have to be physically fit you can see it's a younger Byron a little bit more hair there not as much stubble and you can see that he's going his pout his blue steel pout and it's important when you're a mud wrestler to pout like that and to have your blue steel look and it's important also to get an even coverage of mud as things go so that's Byron back in the day when he was training when he was a fit young athlete things have gone off the rails since then a little bit and Byron's bulked up a little bit but that might work for the wrestling you know wrestling wrestlers like to be a bit bulky and maybe in his later days if not it will be a better thing I wonder if he's going to return soon I suppose Chitwa Dam would be a perfect place Byron for you to start making your return and maybe move away from the leopards and maybe not Chitwa Dam we'll find another dam for you to show us your return and show us some of your moves as you flex because Byron's always flexing in camp and going Arr! so we going to try and see if we can't get him to get back into his mud wrestling and see if he can't take over as the champion once again in 2017. Now talking about champions, our <laughs> Lions are anything but active at the moment. They certainly haven't done any mud wrestling of at this stage. 